There will be a very special Rose Parade float in this year's New Year's Day Parade. It will honor the life of a local Navy sailor who passed away, Robert Barksdale Jr. And here to tell us more about who Robbie was is his mother. Shantae Broussard joins us live via Zoom. Shantae, thank you so much for making the time. It's such an honor to meet you. Oh, no problem. Thank you for having me. Wow. Uh, gosh, there's so many questions that I have for you. Uh, you know, we, we know sadly uh, Robbie passed away three years ago uh, after a tragic motorcycle accident. And uh, he is being honored not only for his service to this country, but also because he saved five lives as an organ donor. How are you holding up, Ms. Broussard? Well, every day gets a little bit better. Um, I have a lot of family and friends who support me through the process. Um, I was told that it's gonna be a journey and it has been, um, but things like this make it a lot better that he's still being thought about, honored, and um, just the fact that he was able to save so many lives, it, it helps to know that he's still here. I know that the um, Donate Life is, uh, they have a, a special float that they put together and that they do that, that is part of the Rose Parade. And I understand you're out of town right now because um, you have recently had the opportunity to help decorate a float that will honor Robbie. Is that correct? That's correct. He's going to be on the Courage to Hope float this year. And uh, last weekend we were able to go down to Irwindale and actually help decorate the float. What was that like for you? It was a wonderful experience. I did not know all of the hard work and time and just the precision and every little minor detail that goes into making those floats beautiful. I mean, what you see on um, January 1st in the Rose Parade, it's months and months of creating and getting volunteers to help. So it was a wonderful experience. I was out there with um, Robert's dad, his stepmom, his uncles, his aunts, all his family members, grandmothers, and it was just a wonderful experience to put our hands on it. You know, as uh, we've we've learned um, a little bit more about uh, your son, Robbie, he was a very charismatic man, as I understand, at 19 <laughs> years old. Um, can you share with us a little bit about uh, who Robbie was? Where do I begin? Um, <laughs> I heard he was a daredevil too. Uh, Robbie obviously he liked motorcycle riding. <laughs> he was definitely a daredevil. I mean, from age one, you could not keep him still. He would be the life of the party, the first one to volunteer to do something. Um, always the one jumping off of a trampoline, a, a fence into the pool. Uh, we went skydiving for his 18th birthday. He had us all in a plane jumping out with parachutes. I mean, definitely lived his life to the fullest. And that's what he always wanted us to do. You know, yeah. he believed we have one life and he was good at living his. You know, I, I know he was also assigned to the USS Bunker Hill here in San Diego, which, um, yeah. you know, is, is, is why we also, you know, want to continue to talk about who he was as he served this country proudly, even though, uh, he at the, at the young age of 19. Um, can you, are you allowed to disclose what the float will look like? Because I know you're trying to, you and other that are part of the team, trying to really um, create a float that captures his spirit. Um, yes, I've seen pictures out, out, you know, on the media. So I know the, the float is actually out there. Um, each year they pick a, a region to honor. And this year it's Italy. So it has a huge um, line in the middle. It has um, gondolas on the side. Um, so it's it's huge. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. There's circles at the top where all the floor graphs of the honorees are going to be. And there's going to be members um, who actually received organs to survive mm -hmm. on the float. Wow. I know that, um, you know, five, five, uh, he helped to save five lives. Your, your son, Robbie, lives on through the lives of these uh, individuals. Is, is there anything else you would like to share with us, um, whether it's about Robbie, whether it's about life sharing, uh, which is the, 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 the group that, you know, helps people uh, or make these arrangements uh, to become a, an organ donor? Yes, I would like to just say thank you so much for 
for life sharing, um, to honor our son, Robbie, and all the great things they've been doing. Um, from day one, they've kept us, you know, abreast of everything that was going on, all the social media platforms, um, even able, being able to go and decorate the floor graph. They've made things so convenient and it's really been an honor to participate in so many things for the actual float. Um, donating is an amazing thing to do for someone to live on once your loved members, you know, your family members, your loved ones are no longer here and they have done an amazing job. Well, Ms. Bouchard, I, I know uh, talking about this is not easy. We, we certainly appreciate your time, and uh, it's an honor to talk to you. And uh, we continue to pray for ongoing peace for you and the rest of the family. Thank you so much. We'll look forward to seeing his float uh, come New Year's Day during the Rose Thank Parade. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.